evening, everybody, and welcome to our Valentine's Day edition of the Planning Board. Um, tonight, we just have one hearing. We have a request uh, for 7 o'clock by Mansour Galiboff for site plan special permit amendment to landscaping plan and bike rack location at West Pond Street on Hampton Map ID 39A-4. I'd like to open up the hearing. Yeah, short one. Hi, I'm Michael Lee with the Berkshire Design Group. Um, we're here uh, as required to get uh, planning board approval on landscaping improvements along Con Street for the Fair Building Project, as you will recall. And also um, uh, the location for the bike racks um, was desired to be changed by the applicant. So technically, that is a change from the approved plan. So we're here for that, too. Start with the landscaping. We added a uh, number of trees uh, as prescribed by the 30 foot spacing um, for the frontage. And I don't have the exact number, but the frontage is about 360 feet, which translates to 12 street trees. So there are 12 trees along um, uh, Con Street here. We've also added a 30 inch earthen berm from here to here with an opening at this crosswalk or sidewalk connection. Um, on the berm is planted um, a number of ornamental grasses. And you can't really see them because they're under the trees, but they're in three clumps here, here, and here. No, no, here, here centered, and here. There's a gap between these trees as requested by the DPW to keep um, the trees separated because all the main utilities are coming out of the hotel from this side and connecting into Con Street. Um, we left this area open where the where the driveway comes in and the sign is for visibility sake. Um, the trees are species or varieties from the approved Northampton Street tree list. Um, namely, there's a number of uh, red maple varieties and then the, um, uh, what is that called? The uh, Heritage uh, River Birch tree, uh, which the applicant liked very much. And if you're familiar with those, there's a number of them planted all over town. It's, it's a, it's a favorite and very hardy in this area. Um, getting to the bike rack, the bike rack is back. The bike rack is originally supposed to be in the front here, but after uh, further consideration, uh, Mr. Galibar uh, decided he didn't want it in the front due to safety reasons, because as you know, there's always a lot of traffic at the hotel entrance with cars going through the roundabout and dropping off and exiting, etc. Et so there's a lot of auto movements. Uh, most of the people that come to the hotel using bikes would probably be employees. The employees are um, planned to enter uh, into the back of the building here. So the bike racks are supposed to be right here with an uh, a independent um, uh, roof shelter. And that is shown, that is shown here. Mm -hmm. This is a style. Um, the applicant um, would choose something simple like this, but probably put, install some type of plexiglass or, or uh, um, fogged plexiglass in the back uh, just to keep, you know, uh, because that that location will be up against some, some guest rooms. Um, I just wanted to flip back to, whoops, did we get, oh, there we go. Um, Carolyn suggested maybe we prepare a cross section um, to better clarify uh, what the landscaping and berm would look like. So here is Con Street, and this is the mm -hmm. sidewalk on Con Street. You have the berm come up with the plantings on it, mm -hmm. the driveway here, and then the hotel. Um, and that's the, uh, the side door with the canopy. Mm -hmm. So you can get a sense of scale. This is drawn to scale. These trees are about 32, 33 feet tall. The berm is 30 inches high. Um, so you get a sense of the scale of um, you know, the landscaping that would be along the front of the building. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, can I interrupt Sure. You? Also, that berm, it is going to prevent people from, like, uh, when they are driving to see the asphalt also. Mm -hmm. So right. that driveway yeah. by the hotel, it kind of will be, It'll be hidden. It'll be hidden. Yeah. Yeah. And the berm will kind of protect that edge, too, and give it a little sense of privacy, um, but not completely, you know, like, obscure, um, you know, the facade of the building. So I guess that's about it. We'll open it up to any comments or questions. <clears throat> 
tell me what flower bed by owner is. That's an area that's just going to be, you know, in the plan area. It's probably going to be uh, annuals and perennials. And that that's thing. what I thought. As you know, the hotel Northampton does a really good job with hanging baskets. And that's what I thought. I just wanted mm -hmm. to be sure. Mm -hmm. Is there no, no provision for bike parking in the front? I guess all of it is proposed to be moved back. There was, a, I think, we were the condition was bike enough bike parking for six bikes. We had chosen Mr. Gallagher like the loop, the simple loop style. Yeah. Uh, so there's six of those in that space here. Um, in the back only. Yes. Well, what if yeah. some misguided, misguided hotel guest shows up on a bicycle or rents a bicycle? How is he going to know where the parking or no, they, to put they, the bike? Well, they will be directed back there, and back there actually it is safer. Uh, employees are there most of the time, and so on. It is better. That front, uh, after I looked at the whole thing, in a busy time, there are going to be ramps to bring people in and take them out, and there is going to be constant cars, you know, coming, turning, and so on. So having a bike rack there, is, uh, one, the space is very limited. Two. Um, it just doesn't make sense that somebody coming with a bike on a parking deck. And uh, uh, in any hotel that we looked at, there is not anything like that in, in, the, in the front of the hotel. So that, that was the reason we thought we take it somewhere <coughs> that is safe. The other location would be somewhere in the other parking uh, across the uh, driveway in that area to put in. But that one is like little. Uh, far, if you want to call it, and uh, as far as being safe, back there is safer. And uh, now, as far as the guests go, you know, right now, we have with Ride Noho, we have uh, a lot of bikers, they come in, they stay, and they go to, uh, to the bike rats and you know, different areas. And uh, we are doing that for at least, uh, this is probably the 12th year that we are doing it. Every single person that comes in, they have a bike that is like three, four, five thousand dollars, and they pull. They take them almost like a suitcase to the room. They don't want to put it anywhere, and um, they don't even leave it in their car like that. Now we have a bike storage that sometimes, you know, some of the people they come in, their bike is not as expensive, uh, five, six, or under thousand dollars. They store in there. In the, in the storage area. But um, there are very few. There is only that one season that you have that, uh, that group that they come in. But majority of the time, people don't really bring bike or anything. So uh, that was, that is our, my experience from present to present. I guess the answer to my question is no. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I'm, uh, can I? Yeah. I'd love to help educate you and do you a favor here. I mean, uh, the bike trails that run north and south and across the river are such an asset. I mean, I spent Tuesday morning, 7.30 in the morning, with 12 people who got up and came to a bicycle meeting. Oh, absolutely. And yes, I'm, I'm aware. And, so, yeah. so I'm wanting you to promote the bicycles by putting them in front. You've got 20 by 30 feet under that awning up front. Yeah. Well, uh, let, me, let me answer that. If there was only room there that could be done, rest assured that I would do. Uh, my job is hospitality, okay? Anything that guests want, guests get, okay? We say five years down the road, and you know, it is very popular and so on, I'm gonna provide you a bicycle, and you find a bike rack somewhere that people can use. There's no question about that in the future. For this purpose, at this point, I think that that is the best to suit the whole thing until, until later on. And also, I, I don't want to mention that it is, it is not my style to mention it. For that mural, for the bike path that it is there, I contribute it. So I, I support the bike, I have bike myself, and uh, I encourage it, and all of that. But for this purpose, for now, I think that's the best right now, this location until, until later on. Yeah. Well, and I'm probably not going to counter it. I just, I think you're missing the point, really. I, I, I mean, I just, I, I go to the Gazette parking lot 
two or three times a summer to meet bicyclists to start from there. So you're in a prime place. Mm -hmm. And so I, I hear you, if I had a $5,000 bike, I'd take it in my room, mm -hmm. but I don't. I have a $600 bike, I tie it all over town, you know, and, and I would hope more and more people are gonna be biking. So, yeah. you know, I, I appreciate your experience, you know, in, in the hotel business and um, I agree that you would look for opportunity to cater to guest yeah, I, preferences. I, absolutely, if there is a need, definitely we will do. And, uh, but ex explain to me why it can't go under, I mean, I'm not buying the safety one, why it can't go under the front awning? Because I see... It initially, it was moved from the front to, to the back. Where, when it was in the front, where was it located? Okay, uh, let me remind you that the first time we came here to do, uh, to do that, the bike track and so on, the first thing we did it in the picture, it was like somewhere else that they said we did it. Mm -hmm. And then when the subject came up, that it has to have roof to it uh, from the elements and so on. Uh, Mr. Lou thought that to save the money, which that was from the beginning, you know, my uh, asking for a favor, if you want to call it, to make it as little as possible because it is costing a lot and uh, you have to have that balance, you have to meet the budget. Because of that, because of that awning, that it is going to cost a good amount of money, they said we recommended to put it underneath in order we don't have that cost. I think mm -hmm. in the original plan, we didn't even have a uh, bike park. It, wasn't, yeah. it came up during the discussion. Okay. And yeah, no, I can yeah. remember yeah. Fendi going, right. we'll be right. bikes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It seemed at the time to make sense because we had the, the canopy in the front. Right. But upon reflection, uh, Mr. Yeah. Galadoff has chosen to try to locate the bikes primarily for the employees in the I guess that's my point. I'm not. I'm not buying that they're primarily for the employees. You're building a standalone, separate bike thing that could be positioned anywhere. I mean, it's it's a it's an entity in and of itself. So what you've chosen to do is stick it as far back and invisible as you can, and we are we are actually as a community promoting and selling bicycle travel. So they just. Uh, you, are you suggesting that like anyone from the town to come in and park, park the bike here yeah, in the property? I'm um, thinking if people guests. want to come eat or visit your guests, they might. I mean, it's 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 a prime bike yeah. area. But I, I really think you're going to have guests, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I agree when you're doing a major race or something, people are not going to leave a 5,000 bike. Would that, a compromise, with, there's covered bike parking in the back oh, to have you know, uncovered. I'm not sure that I'm, um, that my mind's made, made up on this. I just... I think for the I think the applicant is missing. Maybe you know it's my my point of view, but I'm just thinking, we are as a community trying to promote bikes, and this looks like we're hiding bikes. That's mm -hmm. the message I get. But I I don't buy the safety issue either. Okay, That's a red herring. Let me explain a little bit better. Probably do we have a do we have a drawing of uh, that whole area? The, the front the, yeah. Well, yeah. we can only go back to this. Yeah, okay. See, in that area that right now there is a van there, okay, that, that, that area to the front, it is drop off people and pick up people and so on. Now, if you look at the whole thing, they have to go and turn around to leave the property, okay? Now, the only area that you can put probably a bike rack with the, with the distance that bike can fit, it is by that um, uh, stone wall. That it is basically, uh, oh, no, he's, he's right in there. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, where, that's where you are suggesting to have, right? That, that's the only area. And uh, to, for somebody to come in and put the bike there, in number one, as far as the static of it goes, it is not really a desirable place. And two, if you really look at it from the top, you look at it, there's not that much of a space that you can put four points there. And uh, that, that is the reason, it is not, I can put it on that area that I suggested earlier. You know, we can put the bike rack there, you know, to be in front, if you think that we are hiding it. But it was, the intention wasn't that. 
the intention was that to have it somewhere safer, that if somebody wanted to be sick on the road, they would know his wife, at least to have a place that would be peace of mind and heart with them. That's the only, that's the only reason for that. So it's not, uh, I don't care. I mean, that is in the only thing of them, which is a very minor thing. Well, I hope I explained it and as far as the uh, location goes, the static, the safety, and the whole, whole thing all together. But I think Thank there's you. also, oh, go, go ahead. I was just going to say, would it make sense as um, sort of to um, think about allowing the bulk of the storage in the back for the, the primary use, employee use, but having one or two loops up front for visitors of guests or for people who, you know, are staying at the hotel and then they can park out really quickly out front, run upstairs to their room or what have you, but at least there's some storage in the well, front, but it's not the primary storage for the daily use. You mentioned that you have experience with the Hotel Northampton having inside storage? Yes. How has that worked for you? Use and it, it, it works. Would you consider doing that in the lobby on the front? Uh, is there room to, to do it in this project? To have the storage there? To, to No, the storage that we have, it is actually in the back uh, of the house. <laughs> okay. and it is a rather nice it's storage. Uh, it's a separate, <clears throat> separate structure. Well, it's the other thing because there's, there's, if it doesn't have to be covered, you know, a couple of bike right. loops to the left of the door, I'm looking at a space. You can go back to the slide. Oops. To the left of the door is the green area. This? Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of room in there to put three bike loops. I can't see why you couldn't put three bike loops in there. I mean, uncovered. 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 Three uncovered bike loops there. It's, 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 it's not that big a deal. I don't see what the problem is with uh, Well, it is. I mean, if there is a room, we, we didn't discuss about that to separate them or whatever. We can. We can go back and look at it. We can look at to see where we can put the bike and all of that. But it is, uh, it, I don't think it is going to be used, I'll be honest with you. And uh, we have the experience. You know, you, uh, you are supportive of the bike. I'm supportive of the bike, too. But uh, <coughs> if the place was something that, like a laundry mat, that people could go or whatever, or pick up something very quick, convenience store or whatever, I understand that fully, it should be out front. And even the bank, if there is a bank that you know people want to go withdraw money or whatever, should be a rack in front, there's, there's no question about that. But for a hotel, 99% <coughs> of the time is the employees, if, if they do. 125 employees I have, if you see in the summertime, only the summertime, if you see two bikes on the bike rack. You, you cannot even see that. But uh, putting a bike rack for the public, that's a different story. No, I don't think anybody's <coughs> saying this is for the public. This is for customers, for employees, probably most likely customers, mm -hmm. a couple of loops in the front. I, I guess I'm missing why three bike loops in the front is, is such a big deal. And I, th I think the you know, covered. Yeah, we're not saying covered in the back for employees it's makes perfect. sense, and where the location yeah. that's fine. But we're talking about uncovered, just a couple loops out in front for whoever yeah, customers. Or, you know, then, I mean, I was two or three. I mean, I just I'm, I guess I'm missing why it's such a why why two or three yeah. uncovered bike loops in the front is such a, a structure out front might be different, but but yeah. but Sorry, two or three loops, loops doesn't seem terribly unreasonable. Every project we do in town, we have the same thing. We bike loops in the front. It's it's you're, we're asking nothing more from you than we asked from Bank America downtown. <coughs> we asked from Taco Best, Bell. Anybody? Taco you know, Bell. Right? Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, I'm beginning we have. to think of they're the equivalent of sidewalks. You know, we ask for mm -hmm. sidewalks for new development. Exactly. It's it's and just and like covering dumpsters at this point. Every building we have the same bike loops in the front and two or three bike loops in the front and the cover in the back. I think we'd be done having this conversation. That's all. Well, we can we can look at it. I, I, be honest, I haven't I haven't looked at it. Well, we, I don't think we can vote on it unless yeah. you're going to commit to it. Yeah. And so it's uh, if you if you can't commit to it, you have to go back and look at it. We'd have to continue the hearing, I would think. Or you could mm -hmm. Yeah, we could make or a condition could, for two, two or three. They can locate <coughs> at the front of the building. That's just mm -hmm. that. Yeah. 
Any other questions from the board? No, I'd like to say I like the planning plan. Like the yeah, I do too. I think I it's um, I like the grasses on top of, I do of too. the plan. We are in the planting area. Mm -hmm. they, uh, I hope we're going to try to use that burn. Because there's things like worships or something. Well, the other question I have is are you, oh, we have to, are they taking down the trees that are there? Are they saving the trees that are there? Yeah. Save there. Those there are along Con Street. Street. There yeah, are along Con Street. There's six. So there are existing trees along Con Street. It's mostly an open space, but are those coming down? Slightly? Yeah, they they are. Unfortunately, they're quite far into the site. They're like yeah. out in this yeah. area. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's all right. they extend up into the the proposed yeah, parking lot. I think I counted seven yeah. there originally. Actually. Oops. Yeah. Well, especially with the berm. That's why I didn't know. If oh, right. They're there. Yeah. See them back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here. Were they pear trees? Um, that's a good question. No, I think they're maples, actually. Huh. Can you relocate them? Could. He might. He might. I don't know. Then you could try. Some. There's. I think two of them look like they had a lot of damage, but the rest of them are probably. At a size that they wouldn't mm -hmm. be, you know, it wouldn't be insurmountable to, to dig them up and move them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you could try that too, to try that. to yeah. save them. Then mm -hmm. you have some bigger, mature trees mm -hmm. along right. the street. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, does anybody have a problem with the big gap for the so the visibility for the sign? I. Oh, those for DPW. I just no. Uh, uh, no the by the parking lot where the there. flower bed. This area. That, yeah. No, oh oh. I don't have an issue. Okay. No, I don't yeah, I think we've relaxed that. I mean, as long as they hit the 31 per 30, you know, yeah. they, we've had a lot of people to clump them. Well, there's signs there as well. You a want minor, to see it. A minor yeah. clumping, but yeah. I, I guess it's better than having them take the tree down later when it's because it's sick. You know, right. Public right. hazard. Right. No, I think the layout, I mean, the proposed layout is, is fine. Yeah. Now, uh, we will look at the bike area in front for two bikes. And, um, and now, as far as the outside goes, there is a concern that, you know, we talked a little bit. Um, that area uh, where the bike rack and, and, and the awning, if you want to call it, um, it, is, it, it is in the overlooking the uh, breakfast area and also the rooms on the side of it. There yes. are going to be some, okay. yeah, there are going to be some rooms and so on, and windows and so on. Mm -hmm. With the rain and coming down or whatever, it is going to make it messy. Now, since we are doing that, can we get rid of the cover for, for that part? The uh, having protected the, the cover, if he's the putting them in front, can he have unprotected in the back is his question. See on the, the detail. That, that's costly also, and also it is going to create problem with the water coming down and splashing to the building and the glass and you know, all of that. And also from the room, it kind of creates a little bit of uh, barrier, shade and so on. I, I, I don't think two loops in the front negates the, the need for the cover in the back. Myself, I don't know how everybody else thinks. Seems odd. I mean, can't you pitch it? I mean, I imagine you could pitch it away from the building, couldn't you? I mean, does it have to be pitched back towards the building? I mean, I've never built a bus shelf, bike shelter, but... You can go anywhere. Yeah, I can't imagine you have to pitch it. You can pitch it any way you want. You make it flat. It creates shade to the to the rooms yes, it does. make it darker in that area. Yes, it does. And uh, we talked about it to yeah. put something translucent there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's right there. He, he can put it under the back awning and he can put it anywhere else he wants to, but it, it ought to be covered or somewhere because detailed. it's raining some days. Yeah, yeah. people does are going to use that to come and go to work. Does it have to go in that location where? It affects rooms and so forth. Is there, you know, a you know room here? Uh, or I don't know if he want to have it right in here too. That that's not a room. That's the patio. That's uh, I think that's uh, the exercise room. Yeah, that's enclosed. 
you know, yeah. outside. Yeah. There's windows there too, right? Yeah, but it also it is enclosed. You see this uh, this area. This one here is all enclosed. No, I'm, I'm I'm this is going to be. Well, it's not our problem to solve. I mean, no. our problem is. Right. I think it, the, the question is, it's. Uh, we're going to provision it. We're right. not going to solve. We can't solve the problem. We can just tell, put the conditions are, you know, we're going to have two bike loops in the back, six bike loops, uh, two bike loops in the front, six in the back covered. If you don't want to put them where you have them on the plan, you can move them. And that's fine with us. So if you find a better spot along the back for that six loops with the cover, all for it. But um, we're going to leave that to you guys. So. Um, it's something you're going to have to work out. But we're just going to require the six loops in the cover in the back and the two loops in the front. Um, no, with that one, we'd be 14 bikes. No, uh, no, eight. 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 Hmm? Six eight. loops in the back, two loops in the front. Mm -hmm. Right. So can he, would, would, would it be possible if he did four in the back and two in the front? Oh, for Pete's sake. We're arguing about these tiny little things. Two loops. These are, oh, this is, it, it is excessive. I mean, that's my opinion. You want to accept it, fine. You don't want to, okay, we will deal with it. We will put it on. But I think it is excessive. And my request is to ask, you know, I'm asking, and uh, you don't agree, that's fine with me. But it is, it, it is very excessive to do that. I'm up thinking if six initially was agreeable, then two more in the front and, and in the back four employees then two more in the front is not excessive which turns out to only be eight, eight. well I mean he's, he's assuming you can double you get two oh, bikes right. thing, right. which is very more or less you know, that may not be what happens but mm -hmm. with 125 employees for an in-town business I just I'm having a hard time even seeing the problem right I think I mean I think we to just move on is there anyone here from the public who needs to talk about this? Or like to talk about this? No. Any more questions by the board? I move to close the public hearing. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Discussion? No, I, mean, I, I really, I think the planting plan is really nice. I think it's you know, the berm, the planting. Yeah. I, I think it goes a long way as an improvement to what the previous plan was. I think that that's, it looks good. Well, and I mean, I just see, you know, we spent a million dollars on a <coughs> overpass bridge about a mile from here. I mean, we're really trying to build out a bike trail. It's expensive. It's an asset to the city. And I think every new project should have to help it along. Well, there's also a good chance there's going to be a bike path connector about a block away yeah. at some mm -hmm. point. Um, you know, if, if that ever gets built. So, I mean, it's just going to get the, the, the proliferation, proliferation of bike paths is, is just going to keep increasing. Yeah. So, I move. Huh? We talked about two in the front, six covered in the back. The existing trees we talked about, but then kind of glossed over. Do we want to make that a condition to make a good faith effort to salvage trees or just leave it to the applicant to, if no, they can do it, they'll do it? <clears throat> yeah, I think as long as he's. Going from the city planting right. list, I, I have no problem. It's his choice at that point. Right. Yeah. yeah, if you can save the tree, it's great. But I have no idea what the cost of moving it. Yeah, right. That's a lot to ask. Well, it's that's probably yeah. not any more than hauling one in. Well, there'll be different sizes. Well, you plant a three inch caliber. Either way, I have no right. reason well, to push back. Sure. If he's, right. if he's right. pulling it off the planting list, he can. I don't do think that. we should, should condition it. Okay. Uh -huh. Myself, I don't know. I'd like to move that we. Oh, do you want to just read the conditions first before we? I was going to read them. Oh, okay. Motion. Caroline, if you would, that would be, I'd appreciate if you could read the conditions draft wise, even. Um, read the conditions first. <laughs> sure. Um, th that, um, I think the only condition I hear is that two additional um, uncovered bike loops at the front of the hotel entrance be added to the plan. I think the other one was the, to say that the location could be moved of the, the six, the, the shelter in the back could be moved to their location of their choice in mm -hmm. the same area, in the general area behind the hotel someplace. Could be moved anywhere for all I care. I mean, it couldn't get worse mm -hmm. than the back. <laughs> there was something else. No, that was all. I think that's, that's it. it. Okay. DPW didn't have any comments. No new comments. Uh, it was mentioned that they liked the break in the trees. That's all right. I heard. <laughs> 
Okay, I would like to move that we grant the request by Minister Galavox for site plan special permit amendment to landscaping plan and bike rack location at 115 Con Street, Northampton, map ID 39A-34, subject to the following conditions, that two bike uh, loops be placed in front and the uh, six sheltered six places in the back could be moved to any location near where it is located at the plans. Second the motion. Second. All in favor? All set. Thank you. Thank you. Robert's Rules of Order. <laughs> this is big. So the only th other thing on the docket tonight are to approve minutes. We have three, three minutes? Uh, three minutes. Unless they The 10th, the 14th, and January 24th. I think I read them and sent them back to you, didn't I? Yes, you do. Do lots of minutes. I'm not yeah. sure the. Yeah, I, I think I think I don't I'm think good. there were any. Yeah. Uh -oh. I think I'm good. Tenth, four. Uh, sorry, twenty fourth. Tenth, fourteenth, and twenty fourth. Oh yeah. Any comments on those? Approve except. Second. Second. All in favor? I have a question. Yep. What's Hathaway Farms? Yeah, I read but, that too. Um, condominium um, 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 apartment complex, sorry, off of Barrett Street. It's like, is it oh, right. To um, Hampshire Heights. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. The right. Housing Authority said. Uh, and it, it comes out on Barrett Street, mm -hmm. and it's, it was part of that whole. Used to be, okay. I forget the name before. You, you used to have a different yeah. name. Yeah. It, it was um, regenerated with a new name right. <laughs> a few years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know I should have asked that before, but <laughs> <laughs> now it's that it's in front of City Council. So we were talking about um, the next meeting. Do you have a handle on if? Yeah. So it looks like uh, we don't have any permits. So I was thinking, since we've got a huge cache of um, zoning amendments to come for a joint hearing, actually some just are back are on the council agenda forthcoming next week. So I think it might be as many as 10. <laughs> wow. Most of them are minor and you've already looked at, um, you've already looked at all of them, but they sort of been in the wings waiting to move forward. So we just thought we'd go ahead and get a big um, um, package of them. So March 11th is the ordinance committee meeting. At um, seven o'clock on a Monday. Yeah, it's 6.30 or 7, we haven't decided, but I, th I think it would probably be closer to 6.30, but we could do 7. I know you said you could come if it's later. Yeah, 7, pretty definite, 6.30, probable. It just hard, depends on traffic. I'm okay, the yeah, yeah. So, and then, so that would mean no meeting in two weeks. March 11th. Then a March 11th joint meeting here with ordinance. Yes. Ordinance committee meeting. And then two days later, whatever, March 14th. Potentially another um, meeting because yeah, I can't make the two weeks from now, so that really suits me. Um, as far as there's been nothing on Hospital Hill lately, didn't the there will be there potentially will be something coming, but it won't be ready probably till April. I'm thinking the new road or the the male attendance building or uh, male attendance. Because well, I thought the next thing they were going to start the road. No. Discussion. No. We oh, heard no. the retirement, the assisted living place. We yeah. heard that, didn't we? Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah. And that's going, there's a, the next council agenda um, item relative to that is the vote on the TIF for the, to help with the financing, the tax increment financing, so that that would help with their financing package. So. I heard they went to the CPA for money. <coughs> yeah. Was, was there something about somebody wants to put a hotel in up there? Yeah, they went. So the historic commission reviewed a request for a letter for su of support for historic tax credits to renovate the uh, male tenants building for a hotel. Yay. Oh, it really? Positively. That would make sense for that building because that's a well, I guess difficult building. Mm -hmm. If anything makes sense, I guess. But, mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 
Well, but if that happened, then I could really see the stable, the garage, whatever it's carriage called, house. carriage house, really <laughs> turning into something right. that would that could get support from that. Right. Okay, well, let me just say I'm relieved we don't have a meeting in two weeks. I wasn't going to be here, so thank you. <laughs> Actually, me too. Well, <laughs> oh, really? You're not well, I, I, I'll be in town, but I probably can't get to the meeting. You all would get by without me, Frandy, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, we cry a lot. So 40 minutes. It's not a record, but it was. I move we adjourn. Second. Second. Aye. Aye.